Now, the next thing is uh, cutting, and you have to kind of imagine that the people who developed this uh, used the same language as um, people who were editors years ago, and so cutting and editing on all of the programs that Mac uses fall into line with the kind of language that was used when people were cutting film and and splicing it, what they call splicing, uh, which was joining bits together um, and so forth. So that, that's the kind of language that's that's involved. Cutting with this is is pretty much the same. Um, now, for instance, say I don't want, which I don't really, to have all of this amount of the river walk uh, going through. So I click on it and uh, and I then can go up to here um, look at edit and I can go split but you'll also notice that split has a um, uh, command T which is the command is the flower key next to the space command T um, option for it as well and that's the one I tend to use but anyway we'll use this for the moment now when you come back again what you'll find now is that you've actually got two they're still joined together but see how they're split now if you click outside them you'll find that you can then move them separately um, oddly enough too you can do things like this you can you can stretch it out um, to make it longer and uh, see what that happens when you play it. 30 seconds. In fact, what you get is now. Oh, nothing be because <laughs> we haven't put the volume up. So let's put the volume up on One that. Worth, so you can tell exactly how and what you found is when you stretch them out like that is actually you're including bits of this one into that. But anyway, we want to get rid of that. So we'll just get, we'll get rid of it, click on it and then press delete. <coughs> and... Um, We'll adjust the volume back down here. Okay, doke. Now, so what we've got is now this one fading into the background. The track is being laid down. It's going up and down to show. And then it stops, you see. The same thing can be done with anything on it. So if I press Control T, click outside of it, I can actually move my voice off and have a space there. I can even put it over my, you know, over one voice. Um, oh, actually, no, that doesn't work, does it? Um, there we are. Bring it back again, anyway. Uh, and that's repaired it. Going so. up and down to show my voice. And if you want to have a look at things in more detail, what you do is um, you have a look at the editor track, and you will see the edit in much greater detail than um, than uh, you do on the on the panel up here. So it's quite good if you wanted to split something because what it allows you to do is to place the head in a very um, in a kind of very accurate way. So for instance if we stretch this out then we'll find um, we can pick literally a point where my voice talks. So let's have a look. What's and here it? is an enlarged version of that track. You see, if I want to stop before that word... And here is an enlarged version of that track, which allows me... So before which, I can actually visually see where which is. That's which, that's me saying which there. I can um, click on it. Um, click on it there. Oh, well, I can click on it here. Uh, where is this? No, it's not going to let me split it on the actual editor for some reason. Um, anyway, I can if I highlight it there. The editor stays in the same spot. Hit Control T. <coughs> and what you find is that that's split. I can move the two apart, and you can see the magnified vision of it being having been moved apart there. So I could insert a word or or whatever. I could stop it at that point. Okay.